Hello, Moika. If some foreigner asks you what is a typical Finnish food, then you'd probably think of Finnish salmon soup, cinnamon rolls, Canadian pie, reindeer meat, and so on. But if you think about everyday meals, which is commonly eaten in Finland, another common answer would be macaroni latikko or macaroni casserole in English. After I moved to Finland, I have seen macaroni latikko in many different places like schools, cafeterias, you can buy from different shops, and also I have a colleague who brings macaroni latikko for lunch literally every day. On my first or second year, I was seeing one Finnish girl, and she once made macaroni latikko, and it was kind of funny that she said she makes big portions and she eats this tomorrow as well and also day after tomorrow as well. <laughs> it feels like this is like a very basic Finnish food which many people grew up with and I think many people associate macaroni latikko with their childhood memories as well. Even though it's like a very basic Finnish meal, I think I have had it only like few times because I don't make it at home. It's not like I hate it, but at the same time it's not like I love it as well. If I have a chance to eat it, I probably enjoy it, but I just don't cook it at home. A few weeks ago, I asked on my social media to Finnish people, what is macaroni latikko for you? I got more than 80 answers, and those answers include, for example, one of my favorite with ketchup. Had it almost once a week as a kid. <laughs> Top favorite already from childhood. Good homemade cheap basic food. Fuel to weekdays. Something you never get bored of. Reminds me of my childhood. Also, I got different types of answers as well. Like, something I never eat. <laughs> Had enough in school. <laughs> Junk food to be avoided. <laughs> a birthday cake for my dog. <laughs> Apparently, people have different memories about macaroni latikko, and I think many Finns have special attachment to that food. Yeah, but anyway, I realized I haven't really made it at home, and I thought maybe I should try making it to understand the feeling of Finnish people towards macaroni latikko. And also, someday, if I have family here, and let's say if my kids ask me to make macaroni latikko at home, <laughs> I don't wanna say I don't know how to make it. You can always buy from shops, but maybe it's nice to make it at home. So I'm gonna try make it macaroni latikko at home today in this video. And when I make Finnish food in my video, there are always different comments like, hey, you should do this, you should do this, because people have different preferences and there are always many different recipes in Finnish food, or like food in general. But today, I'm gonna follow this one recipe by a famous Finnish chef, Kari Aihinen. So, uh, I found many different recipes of macaroni latikko, and it's not surprising at all. And I checked different recipes, and I thought this recipe looks the best, or like better than many other recipes. And I know you might want to give me still different tips and some advice, and you're welcome. But today, I decided to follow this one recipe. Anyway, let's see how it goes and I first need to go buy some ingredients, so I'm gonna go shopping. See you later. Okay, so as you can see, I got the ingredients. What I have to tell you now is, I think it's more common to use milk instead of whipped cream. And also, if you ask Finnish people how to make macaroni latikko, I think many people don't use uh, paprika or bacon. But today, I'm gonna use them because to me, the recipe looks really nice. I checked a bit about the history of macaroni latikko. According to this company, uh, 
million paras which has been making macaroni since 1970s, the history of macaroni latico can be traced back to 19th century. So it is originally from Finland and not the other countries and in 1950s this dish became popular among like normal people as a everyday dishes. But before this macaroni latico used to be a festive food, so for example for Christmas, and it has come on not to have meat in it. Nowadays this is like an iconic everyday dish which many people eat it on a weekly basis or even daily basis. I wouldn't say this is the best Finnish food, but still this is highly ingrained in Finnish like daily life for many people. So let's start cooking now. Smells actually really good. I think the bacon and garlic are adding really good flavor in it. Mm. This is really good already. I think it needs some more salt and black peppers. This recipe doesn't say anything about cheese, but many other recipes have cheese as a key ingredient, so I'm gonna put it on macaroni latico. And this should be cooked in the oven from 45 minutes to 1 hour. It smells really good. Thank you, Moss. Mm. Actually, this is really good. <laughs> to be honest, this is the best macaroni latico I've ever had. Well, not from the big sample sizes because I've ever had before like four or five times. 
not from like proper restaurants but from student restaurants or like sometimes somebody just made it at home but this is really good <laughs> well, a bit like a junkie in a way like in a good way <laughs> i think the reason is this recipe is good i mean this is not like a very traditional basic recipe i added bacon paprika some like seasons like thyme so the herb not only like salt and peppers <laughs> and also i added cheese well i think many people add cheese but if you think about cheese bacon and beef it shouldn't go that bad <laughs> and also i used whipped cream instead of milk that could be another reason as well i should maybe give this to my colleague <laughs> who brings macaroni latico every day for lunch mm. but now I should put ketchup on it because that's something many people told me wow this is good <laughs> I hope people accept this as macaroni latico because this is not really really like basic recipe but still this is based on the recipe by the Finnish famous chef Kappe and if I can call this macaroni latico then I have to change my mind because I was in a way underestimating macaroni latico or maybe for these seven years of my life in Finland I haven't really met good macaroni latico and this is maybe my first encounter so I'm actually happy about it. <laughs> but now, if somebody asks how to make macaroni latico, I know what to do. And I think many of you Finns have your own recipe. But if you haven't really tried this uh, cup's uh, authentic or like professional macaroni latico recipe, please try this. I think it's worth trying. But I'm still keen to try your own recipe. So if you have your home secret recipe or some recommendations, please write in the comments. I'm happy to try another round to make good macaroni latico. Mm. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. I hope you like it. Please hit like and also subscribe if you haven't. I hope to see you in my next video. Moika!